hello everyone welcome back to my video tutorial uh, I hope you guys are fine uh, today I'm going to show it to you how to make this uh, uh, crochet lux foot twist headband and uh, it's a very easy and simple as you have noticed that uh, I have the previous tutorial about the lux foot stitch so we just follow in based on that and then uh, we twist it and the and uh, by doing the single crochet okay so let's get started uh, we will for this one um, the length that I did is uh, about 44 centimeter for uh, adult woman size and then the, uh, oh, approximately about 17 inch and then for the width is about 9.5 centimeters so from here to there is about nine and nine and a half uh, centimeter or about four inch okay and the total rows for this one is uh, 44 uh, sorry 52 rows okay so for this uh, width you can play with um, uh, as per your desire you might have uh, like this or only one one side one so lux foot stitch is uh, work with the multiple of six plus three so uh, you can play with the size based on what you need uh, if it only one uh, meaning six plus three if it uh, two so like this if you want to have only this size meaning you only do six plus three chains and then if it's 2, meaning 6 times 2, which is 12, plus 3, which is 15. And then for this one, since I did it 3, meaning 6 times 3 is 18. And then plus uh, 3 uh, chains additionally, so the total is 21 chains. Okay, so let's grab your yarn and uh, hook. You can use any type of yarn. And I'm using the acrylic, 100% acrylic, and then this size crochet hook number three. Okay, you can uh, use any any type. Okay, now let's get started. As uh, I will put the link uh, for the Luxford stitch for for the detail. So basically, you will just need to do the slip knot, and then do the multiple of six times three so one two three four five six this is one set one two three four five six this is second set one two three four five six this is the third set and then additional uh three chains one two and three so we will do the double crochet into the four chains so you skip the three one two three chains from the hook you will do the double crochet into the four chains okay and then the next one so you have four so far and then the next one five and then the next one you have six so one the the three chains that we have skip is counting as first double crochet so one two three four five six and then chains one skip one the one in the middle is only five so skip one and then double crochet to the next stitch so one Two, three, four, five. So the in the middle is only five double crochet, chains one and then skip one. And then the last one you should have another six double crochet. Two, three, four and then five the last one 
is six. Okay, this is how it's the first row. Now the second row, we will move to the second row. So for the second row, we will do the chains one and turn our work. And then for this row, we will do only single crochet across on the eighth stitch. So single crochet to the first chain, to the first loop, and then single crochet next to it. So if it on the border on the beginning, you do the six double crochet. So here you will do the six single crochet in total. Okay. And then for the gap, you will do the same chains one, you skip this one. And then you will do the one in the middle, you have five double crochet, meaning you will have five single crochet, two and three four and five okay change one skip that one and then on the last one you will also have six single crochet like that okay this is row number two so uh, row number three, we will do chain three, one, two, and three, and turn your work. And then we will not do any stitch for the first one. We will go directly to the second one, and we will do unfinished double crochet, like that. You don't close it. And then yarn over two times, and then we will do the one in the middle. So you don't count the first one. So when you look into the five double crochet, so this is the, the middle one. So yarn over two times and then we will do the uh, front post triple crochet. Yarn over first, yarn over two, and then yarn over the three. Okay. And then double crochet on the back. One. Double crochet next to it. Two double crochet next to it, three. So you have three double crochet on the back. Yarn over two times, and then we will do the front post uh, triple crochet into the same one in the middle part, okay? And then before you're closing it, you will do the, the next one is double crochet, unfinished, and then yarn over all together, okay? This is how you, you do the cross of triple crochet front pose in this part. Okay, so if you are still confused how to do this stitch, like I mentioned that I have the previous tutorial for these specific uh, stitches. So you may take a look and then uh, coming back to this uh, headband uh, tutorial. Okay, so you change one. So remember, in the gap is always there is a chain one space. So now we will move to the next one. So here we will repeat the second one, the unfinished double crochet, yarn over two times, and then we will do the front post triple crochet into the middle of double crochet. So one, two, and then yarn over all together. And then we will do double crochet on the back, one, Two, and then three okay and then yarn over two time we will do the same triple crochet front pose so yarn over first yarn over two and then do not closing it and then we will do the last double crochet unfinished now you have three loops yarn over all together change one you will repeat exactly the same unfinished double crochet yarn over two time skip this one and then you will do the middle double crochet yarn over all together double crochet on the back so this is one this is two and this is three okay 
and then yarn over two times you will repeat the triple crochet from first one two before you do uh, closing it you will do unfinished double crochet yarn over all together now you will have only one single crochet there this is where we will do the one double crochet as the border same as on the beginning where you did the, the chain straight okay and this is how the row number three look like and you will repeat exactly the same row number two and then row number three continuously so let me show it to you row number four chain one we will repeat exactly the same as row number two which is single crochet across single crochet one two three four five and six then you do chain one and then skip that space one two three four and five remember the one in the middle is only five single crochet chain one space skip that one the last one is six single crochet two three four and five the last one on the top of the chain three so you have six okay now we will repeat chain three we will repeat exactly what we have done in the row three so chain three the next to it skip this one we are not going to do any stitch next to it we will do unfinished double crochet yarn over two times and then take a look in the middle here this is where we will do the front post triple crochet yarn over two time and then front post triple crochet so you have the three loop left and then yarn all together one double crochet second double crochet and then third double crochet yarn over two time we will repeat into the middle one front pose triple crochet before it's finished and then you will do the unfinished double crochet when you have the three loop then you yarn over all together chain one and you will repeat exactly the same and then uh, row number two and row number three two and three two and three until desired length that you wish okay and don't forget to do the chains one in between so skip this one and then you will repeat unfinished double crochet yarn over two time and then again it's very easy to see in the middle part yarn over first yarn over second yarn over the third the first double crochet second double crochet third double crochet okay yarn over two time and then front post triple crochet one two before you're closing it one and two okay this is the second middle part chain one skip that one this is the last unfinished double crochet yarn over two time and then triple front pose okay and then double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three and then again yarn over two time so yarn over two time and then triple front uh, front triple crochet and then before you finish it unfinished double crochet yarn over all together the last one always have one double crochet okay so this is how it's look like so far 
and then you will continue doing this until the desired length and mine I will stop until I have 52 rows which is 44 centimeter the last one we will do the uh, single crochet across okay I'll meet you when you reach there so uh, this is what I have so far uh, it's a slightly correction I added one more uh, row on the last so instead of ending with a 52 and then I add one more 53 and then uh, the last one is single crochet across including into the uh, space okay so in total so 53 double uh, 53 rows and then plus one rows of the single crochet across so 54 rows in total so this about 44 a centimeter okay so now what we're going to do so this is how it look like the texture okay you can make it longer or shorter it depends on the size of the of your uh, head circumference and then uh, after that we will do the uh, twist the the end here okay i will show it to you without the uh, using directly the crochet hook so we are ended on this part and then this is the right side and then this is the wrong side what we're going to do is we're going to folding it like this yeah and then the other side as well this one you can swing it later the tail okay and then do like that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take only uh, four one two three and four stitches here uh, we'll matching it like this so you do like that and then this one as well this is four stitches from the back the first layer and second layer and then the third layer and then fourth layer so you will do basically like that and then we will continue doing the single crochet across okay so like that now you have to counting if you take four stitches here four stitches there and four stitches there and four stitches there and remember this is your last uh, uh, how do you call it the, the tail and so what we're going to do since this one is this one from this part so we're going to counting one two and three and four so meaning you are taking the stitch from the fourth one and while here you will take it from the first one because you're going to matching it the third layer you will take one two three and the fourth one and then the last one you are taking it directly from from there okay so when you pull all together the fourth layer right and then chain one and you will repeat doing the single crochet for all those four layer so make sure you are inserting your hook to the correct loop okay if you are not sure you can open it one by one like that and two to the first one okay and then yarn over oh i think i'm taking the wrong one let me repeat so one two three four insert your hook again insert your hook again one two three four insert your hook and then again the last one and then yarn over until it's coming out and then single crochet okay 
the second one you will repeat the same like that you matching it all the stitch to the old full layer and bring it back single crochet now the third one again insert your hook there and remember on the each layer you will have four stitches only okay you can do bigger if you wish but we wanted to make sure that we have big enough loop for the other side so this is the last one okay the last one single crochet okay now let me show it to you how it's look like sounds complicated but it is not so this is how we connecting a side to the side if it is using the single crochet uh, is too complicated for you so basically we want to make sure that you have a slightly gap uh, for the two side and then this is the connection using the single crochet for the older four layer another way of uh, connecting it is you can use your tapestry needle and then you stitch it all across okay so now once you have done that and then turn it to the other side so we're going to work on this part yeah when you're facing it like this like that we will work on this part and that part and again I'm not going to cut I will only sewing my the tail before at the end using the tapestry needle but this one I will still using my crochet hook without cutting it so here you matching it you can take a five stitch one two three four and five and here as well one two three four and five so basically you matching it left and right to the to the other side okay since this one and this part so what you will do you will take this pull it out you take it for this part first okay and then chain one and then insert it again and then connecting to that part so one, two, three, four, five, sing, uh, five stitches. We will do only five stitches on that one. Single crochet. And then the second one, insert your hook to the other side. Single crochet. The third one. Single crochet. And then the fourth one. And then the last one, five to that one. Here we go. So we are done. Okay. Now we change one and cut your yarn. And pull it up. So grab your tapestry needle before you do that you just wanted to make sure how it's turned out to the other side so at the end we're going to sewing this uh, these two tails yeah whipping it let's turn it out so to see how it look like okay so voila here we go this is how it's look like very easy, simple, and neat. And uh, the reason why I like the using the single crochet, uh, it's it's because of the, I, I I feel like using the crochet hook it's much easier for me rather than the tapestry needle. But again, this is your preference, and uh, you connecting 
whichever the way that you feel comfortable and easy okay okay let's turn it out again and we're going to sew the tail And then make sure you're hiding it in between of the stitches back and forth back and forth until you show it's secure like that and then do one more time okay or you can even do three times it's not a problem as long as it will not coming out okay and you cut the last tail and you do the other one Okay, so it's secure enough. Now I will cut the and turn it out like that. Here we go. Okay. Voila. So that's it for today. Uh, crochet lux boot uh, twist hat bun. Uh, you can use this uh, technique or stitches uh, and then make it uh, many as a preparation for the gift uh, for your friends, your family member. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoy this uh, very simple a uh, crochet headband to a tutorial and then hope to see you soon bye take care